defining the perimeter of a polygon. It's the sum of all the sides of a shape. This is our polygon. If this is four inches, then this is four inches. This is a square. So we'll take all the sides and add them up. Perpendicular lines is one line that intersects another line and makes 90 degree angles on both sides. perpendicular bisector is a segment that is a perpendicular to the segment at its midpoint like this up here. That is a perpendicular bisector. And that's it. I am doing a plane. Flat surface that extends infinity in all directions. When a plane is represented by four sided by a four sided figure you put a letter in it to name to label the plane. Yay. This table would be a plane. The table. Pi is a number that approximately represents 3.14. Today, we are doing a point. A point is a specific place in space. It has no dimension, length, width, or depth. It is represented by a dot and labeled by a single capital letter like this <laughs> that can be point C a capital C a polygon is a close sided figure with three or more sides that intersects only at the end points the sides of the polygon are line segments the points where the sides intersect the vertices of the polygon this is a polygon what's a polygon this square can you stop rotating the camera okay Stop. It's very, I just had like threads of the feet. Yeah. Threads of the feet. It's a medical condition. I'm going to kick you like you kicked Chelsea. I am doing postulate. A postulate is a generalization that cannot be proven true. It is just accepted as true. Like the fact that this point and this point make a line. A proportion, an equation that sets two ratios equal to each other, like the fact that Buck and Preston are equal to each other. A protractor is used to measure angles. Measure angles. Why don't you stop zooming in? We see it. There's my little protractor on the board. Whack. Oh, you being reported now? Okay. Pythagorean. Louder. Pythagorean theorem is what I am doing. Pythagorean theorem is the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the legs. For example, let H. Represent the hypotenuse. I got to read that. <laughs> S represents one leg or side, and S represents the other leg or side. I'm doing ratio, the quotient when one number is divided by another number are mostly written as a fraction form. But see here we have three forms. The fraction form, the two to three, two, two, three, and then two to three. <laughs> I'm doing a ray. A ray has one endpoint and extends infinity in the opposite direction. The rays are identified with arrows on top of the letter showing both the endpoint and the direction in which the rays are going. 